Let's come down onto our backs and uh, just get comfortable on your mat. So whether you're bending your knees or have your legs straight, whatever feels good for you. Good, we're just gonna concentrate a little bit on breath, on opening today, and um, I hope you enjoy. So, just letting yourself sink down into the mat, into the floor. Let's take a nice deep inhale through the nose, and then a nice long exhale through the mouth. And just see if you can really let everything go. So notice the breath really filling up the space. And then notice it exiting the body as you let things go, as you relax, release tension. Feel free to close your eyes and just do a little scan of the body as you release any tension you might be feeling. And just breathe here. allow parts of the body to relax so with each breath you might get let go of a little something more calming the mind calming the body Just bringing your focus back a little bit. We're going to work a little bit of breath here. So feel free to have your hands down by the side or you might have your hands on your belly. And again, we're just going to take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Inhale again through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose, nice and deep and long. And then on your exhale, see if you can double that count. So the exhale takes twice as long as the inhale. Again, inhaling. Exhaling twice as long as the inhale through the nose. Inhale, filling the torso. Exhale twice as long as your inhale. Inhale. Long exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, nice deep inhale. Nice long exhale, twice as long as the inhale. Good, 
breath in and just let the breath come back to normal. So inhaling, exhaling to the mouth. Good. So we're going to pray a little movement into this now with our breath. So let's just gently bring the right knee up towards the chest and lift the arms over the head at the same time. And then take everything back down. <clears throat> let's do the same on the other side. Lift the left knee up, lift the arms overhead. And slowly lower back down. So let's use our breath now. So inhaling, lifting the knee, lifting the arms. Exhale, slowly taking everything back down. It's like a slow march if you were standing. Inhale, lifting the left knee and the arms. Exhale, take everything down. Again, inhale, taking the knee and the arms up. Exhale, come down. Good, left knee up with the arms. And exhale, come down. So let's bring the pace up a little bit more. So inhale, right knee up, exhale, take it down. Inhale, left knee, exhale down. Good, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Good, keep it going, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Feel free to keep your eyes closed or open. Doesn't matter. Just keep that breath going. Keep the motion going with the leg and the arms. Let's go a little faster now. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good. Keep it going. Nice. And then if you can, maybe go a little faster. You might want to stay where you were, but if you can, maybe you can take things a little bit faster, getting lots of action going through the whole body and creating a little heat. Woo, good. One more time each side. Nice. And bring the knees into the chest. Just give them a nice big hug, rocking side to side. And then feel free to lift the head up towards the knees, squeezing in, breathing here. Good. Good, and take the head down, take the left foot down to your mat and lift your right leg up towards the ceiling. So like we've done before, instead of thinking of pulling the leg forward, Think of actually taking it back so that you can really feel the back of the hip pressing down into your mat. Flex that right foot so the toes are pointing towards you and then point the foot. So press those toes up towards the ceiling. Good, curl them back and then press them up. Nice, curl them back, press them up. Nice, curl them back. Now press them up, and now you're gonna take your hands to your thigh, and you're going to slowly crawl the hands up your leg towards the foot, lifting the chest and lifting the head at the same time. Good, walk the hand back down. Good, now flex the foot. Walk the hand up the leg towards the foot. Your hips are still as even as you can get them here. Reaching, using your core muscles, lifting that upper back and dropping back down. Good, just turn the ankle and take the foot down and just windshield wiper the knees side to side a little bit. <sighs> just to release that, awesome. So with the feet both on the ground, you're gonna lift the left foot up now. So same thing, take that thigh away from you Drop the hip down into the floor and then curl the toes back towards your shin. Good, so you're kind of pressing that leg away. Now slowly just 
move through the foot to point the toes and then curl the toes back and bring the ankle back for a flexed foot press the toes up to the ceiling and then curl the toes back into a flexed foot good the hips are still even you're pressing the toes forward and curling the toes back awesome so let's press the toes up take your hands to the thigh walk your hands up your leg towards the foot breathing reaching through those arms using your core muscles lifting your chest and your head good and then slowly coming down so your head comes all the way down now flex the foot crawl the hands up the leg again so you're reaching towards the foot breathing here good breathe 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 nice and walk the hands back down and now just turn the ankle you can go both directions just to get a little more movement through there and take the foot down and again just windshield wiper the knees and then side to side good awesome okay so keeping again the hips down this time we're gonna lift both feet up at the same time. So again, try not to bring them in towards you. Try to keep them away so the hips are pressing down. Now curl the toes towards you. The feet can be right together if you can. And then press the toes up towards the ceiling. Good, curl the toes back. Press them up to the ceiling. Good, curl them back. Now press them up, take your hands to your thighs, and this time you're walking up both legs towards the feet. Breathe here. It's a little movement, but it's a lot, right? Breathing here, using those core muscles, lifting that chest as you point the toes. Walk the hands back down. Let's curl the toes back and walk up again. Might feel a little different here, with the flexed foot right breathing lifting up that chest lift 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 a little bit higher good slowly come down and let's hug the knees into the chest again maybe open up your knees a bit wider so you're almost in a happy baby position just widen those knees a little bit awesome good so from here let's come into a few spinal rocks so bringing the feet over your head, they might get bigger as you keep going. Breathe with it, try not to hold your breath. Good. One more and then come all the way up to a seated position. Ah, and we're gonna straighten our legs here. Awesome. So as always, feel free to sit on something if that feels better, a cushion or a block or something. So let's sit with our uh, legs strong. So the toes are pointing up. Good. And you're sitting up a little bit. I'm just going to turn to the side a little bit here so you can see. Good. Awesome. So sitting up, dropping the sit bones down, lifting the head up towards the ceiling. Good. So we're going to lift the left arm up towards the sky, keeping that length through the spine, through the legs, turn the inner thighs in slightly. So now what you're going to do is you're going to reach that arm over the right leg to the outside of the leg and then take it down to the floor. Good. The other arm can reach away from you. Now inhale and lift up nice and tall. Good. And just feel this kind of mini twist here. You want to keep the sit bones even and down on the ground. So drop that left one down. Breathing here. Good. Lengthening. Good. And now see if you can bring the hands together. Good. And then crawl the fingertips away. Don't worry about how far you're going. Just keep breathing with it. So inhale, exhale, crawl the fingers away. 
Maybe you take the palms right down to the floor. Lengthen on your inhale. The legs haven't moved, you're keeping them in the same position. Breathe here, good, sit bones are down. Nice, and now walk the hands back up to center. Bring yourself to center and shake out the legs. Good, okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So again, just check in with where your legs are. Turning those inner thighs in, toes are pointing up, so you're flexing the foot. Your spine is long, those sit bones are moving down. Let's lift up the right arm this time. So creating length, try not to scrunch up the shoulder, keep it down as you reach the hand up. And then you're turning slightly to the side as you reach the hand beyond the left leg. Reach, 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 good. And then take the hand down to the ground. The other hand is reaching away. You're inhaling and lifting up. Good, and dropping that right sit bone down. Breathe here. Nice, good. Feeling the light through the legs, through the spine. Good, and let's bring those hands together. Inhale. And then exhale, crawl the fingers away. Good. Inhale again. Exhale, crawl the fingers away, maybe taking the palms down. Try not to lift that left hip up. Drop it down. I mean the right hip. <laughs> Drop it down so the legs are even, the hips are even, the arms are long, the shoulders are away from your ears. Keep breathing into it. Awesome. Good, and then walk your hands back to the legs and just shake everything out. Good. So now we're gonna lean over to the right onto the forearm and bend the left knee. And just take your hand to your ankle and see if you can draw up that knee, that left knee, to down and then back. So press the foot into the hand as you open up the quad here. Try not to sink too much into that right shoulder. Lift yourself up, press the foot into the hand as you try to open up the quad and the hip. Breathe in here. That knee's moving down. And then the foot is pressing into the hand as you open up. You're also opening up the shoulders here. Breathing. Good, come on back up. <sighs> Shake up the legs, and let's do the same on the other side. So leaning over to the left, forearm on the ground. You can bring your legs beside you if you like, bending that right knee, holding the ankle, and then dropping the knee down first towards the other foot, and then press the right foot into the hand as you open up the quad and the chest and shoulders. So lifting up a little bit so that you're not scrunching in that left shoulder. Breathing, opening up. Hmm, good. Feeling the opening across the quad. Keep breathing into it. Keep pressing the foot into the hand as you open. Nice. Good. Come on back up. And let's just shake the legs out again. And let's roll the shoulders. Good. Nice, and the opposite way. Excellent. Okay, let's come over onto hands and knees. And we'll just do a simple cat-cow. So come into your position so the knees are below the hips, hands are below the shoulders, lift the upper back up, and lift the belly up slightly as well. On an inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin and the tailbone. On your exhale, tuck everything, lifting the spine so it's nice and round. Inhale, drop the belly, lifting the gaze. And then exhale, tucking the belly, really tucking the chin down towards the chest. Again, inhale. Exhale. 
Good. Inhale. And exhale. Rounding the back, lifting the middle back up towards the ceiling. Good. Now come to neutral. So from here, let's come down to our forearms. So you can bring the hands in a little bit. Maybe your thumbs are touching with those spread fingers. We're going to do the same cat cow here, but in this different position. So on an inhale, it won't be as big. On an inhale, draw up the belly. Lift the gaze if you can. Exhale, tuck the belly, round your back, tucking the chin. Inhale, dropping the belly, lifting the chin and the gaze. Exhale, tucking and rounding the back. Inhale, lifting the gaze, lifting the chin. Exhale, rounding the back. Awesome. So just come back to neutral here. You're gonna stay on your forearms and we're gonna bring the palms together. We're gonna to come into dolphin pose. So just walk the, the elbows in a little bit and then think about pressing your arms down into your mat as you lift the upper back. Okay, so you don't wanna sink down into the shoulders for this. It's kind of a prep for headstand. And in headstand, you've gotta have strong arms. So press down into your mat, lift up that upper back. So you can probably already feel your arms working. Now just walk your knees towards the elbows, keep the back up, tuck your toes, and then slowly lift the tailbone up and away from you. You can let the head hang just between your arms. It's not touching the ground. You can bend your knees as much as you need to, but see if you can put some weight into those arms and leap lean back so you've got some weight going back into those legs so you're kind of in a downward dog position but with the forearms right if your knees are bent and your heels are up that's fine just keep sending the tailbone back and breathing allowing the head to hang if you can, you try to keep straightening those legs, lifting the tailbone up and dropping the heels down at the same time. Breathing here, nice and long. Good. You can come out whenever you want to, of course. Breathe here. Good, now let's bring the knees down, open them up, and just come down into child's pose dropping the head or supporting the head with your hands or a block, breathing here, good. And then feel free to move side to side a little bit, just getting a little movement in the hips, the head kind of flopping side to side, good. Awesome, and then come up, let's tuck the toes, and come all the way into an actual downward facing dog. Good, again, letting the head hang between the arms, lift the belly up, take the tailbone back as you lengthen through the whole body. Nice, good, let's take the gaze forward. Let's just walk the feet forward. Inhale, really lifting the chest as you lengthen through the arms. You can always keep your knees soft. Exhale, let's fold forward. Again, dropping the head, just letting it hang. And then slowly, let's roll all the way up to a standing position. Good, again, rolling the shoulders. Ah, good, both directions. Nice. Okay, we're gonna come into a wide position here. We're gonna come into a pose called Parsva Konasana. So make your feet fairly wide. Bring your hands to your hips. We're gonna start in basically warrior two. So turn the left toes in, turn the right toes out, and then you're going to bend the right knee. So just make sure when you bend that knee, that it's above the ankle. So what might happen is that your knee goes over it, but that means you're gonna have to widen your stance a little bit more. So bending that knee, good. 
Keeping some weight in the back foot, open up the arms here. Good. Torsos facing forward. Now to come into this modified position for Parsvakonasana, you're going to take your arm to your leg, reach the left arm over the ear. So keep opening up that chest. Try not to put too much weight on the leg. Drop down through the hips, breathe here. So you're reaching, reaching, reaching. Good. Now keep your legs where they are. Lift back up to sort of that warrior position. Take the left hand to the leg. And now you're gonna look up towards the right hand as you reach it up towards the ceiling. Breathe here. Good. Opening up the side. Awesome. Good, let's come back to that Parsvakonasana position, reaching over, we won't stay here too long. Come back up to the reverse warrior position, lifting up. One more time, taking the arm down, reaching the arm over, and then taking the hand back and lifting up. Good, back to warrior two, even looking over that right hand. Take the hands back to the hips, straighten the right leg. Ah, turn the right toes in, and let's turn the left toes out, and we'll repeat that on the left side. So feel free to keep your arms down if that feels better. You can still move the torso through the positions. So let's bend the left knee. Again, keeping the knee above the ankle. Try not to make it go over the ankle. You might have to widen your stance a bit more. Open up the chest, and then if you want to add your arms, you can. Open up those arms here. Good, now take the left arm to the leg. Reach the right arm overhead. Again, try not to put too much weight here, but drop down through the hips as you open up that torso, reaching overhead. Breathing, keeping some weight in the right heel as well, and the baby toe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Opening, dropping down. Good, opening up again, take the right hand to the leg, the legs haven't moved. Lift the left hand, lift your gaze up towards the ceiling and breathe here. Good, you can always continue to crawl the right hands down the leg, but keep dropping the hips down at the same time. All right, let's come back into Parsvakonasana. So right over, reading, reaching the right arm over your ear. Good, back up into reverse warrior. Good, again, over. And then one more time back. Good, and then lift up into warrior two. Hands to the hips, straighten the leg. Turn the foot in and just heel toe the feet together again. Nice, good. Just shake out those hips a little bit. So we've got a little opening in here. We've already been opening up the backs of the legs. So we're gonna do that again. <laughs> so hands on the hips. Let's take the foot across the left one. So your heel can just stay up here. Good, we're gonna lift up nice and tall. Just gonna turn to the side. And then we're going to come forward. So start halfway. Keeping both feet solidly on the ground. Try not to lift up the tailbone, but instead drop it down a little bit. And then see if you can keep going. Maybe taking your hands to the shins or maybe to the floor. Let's inhale and get really long through the arms. Again, you might want to stay here or you might be able to fold forward over that leg. Feeling some opening across the hips the hamstring, breathing here, letting the head hang, letting gravity pull that head down towards the floor. Good, now let's lift up again. We're gonna take the hands to the hips as we rise up and lift the right knee up just towards the chest. So try to keep those hips even, drop the right hip down a little bit, breathing. Good. And then if you want to add a straight leg, see if you can lift that foot out in front of you. Ooh, it might happen, it might not, that's okay. Breathing. Good, bend the knee, 
take the foot down. <sighs> Again, just moving the hips around a little bit. Let's do the same on the other side. So the left foot comes across the right. So you're keeping the heel up, right? Hands on the hips. Try to get solid through that right foot. Lift up nice and tall. And then exhale, come halfway, lifting the belly, keeping the shoulders away from the ears, and then keep going forward, taking the torso over the leg. Hands might come to the shins or to the floor or to a block, and then keep folding down if you can, dropping the head, just letting it kind of hang there, breathing. Breathing, nice. The head is falling down towards the feet. It's getting pulled down by gravity. Shoulders and ears are apart. They don't like each other. Breathing, good. Let's lift up, nice long arms, and then take the hands to the waist as you start lifting up and lifting up that left knee. Again, evening out the hips here. Breathing, keeping that focus in front because it is a balance, right? So feel free to stay here or you might be able to lift that foot in front of you and balance here. Try not to lift up the hip though. You're still trying to keep them even. Don't lean back either. Press down into that foot and get nice and tall. Bend the knee, take the foot down, and move the hips. Excellent. Okay, so let's just keep our feet about hip width apart. Just do a little bit of side bending before we come down to the mat. Just keeping your right hand on your leg. Let's lift up the left arm and just lean over to the right. So same thing, keep your hips where they are. Maybe you slide that right foot down, the right hand down rather. Looking straight ahead, reaching the hand over the ear. Good, keep opening up the chest. Maybe you even look under the arm if you want to. Breathing here, good, let's come on up. Let's take the hand down, lift the right arm. Keep the hips where they are, lean over to the left. So same thing, crawling that hand down the leg. Inhale and really lengthen. Exhale, open up the chest. Maybe look under the arm towards the ceiling. Keeping the feet solid, the hips even. Breathing here. Good. Inhale, come on up and take the hand down. Ah, good. Let's just open up the toes. And if you can, come down into a little bit of a squat. So you could come to part way with resting the arms on the legs, or you could come down farther, dropping those hips right down into malasana. Lifting up the chest, bringing the hands together. Breathing, good, you don't have to stay here. You can come right down to a seated position. Ah, there we are. Okay, let's straighten the legs again. And we're going to come into a bit of a thread the needle position. So you're gonna bring your knee up into your chest. So bring the right knee towards the chest and then open up the foot a little bit. So lifting up nice and tall through the spine, curling those toes back, and then place the foot just above the knee. Good. Let's take the hands forward, lift up nice and tall, and then lean forward. So both feet are flexing. If it feels really uncomfortable on your leg, just move the foot where you need to. Try to keep the length, really inhaling and getting nice and tall. And then exhaling, dropping the torso down towards the leg. Inhale again, get really long. Exhale and deepening. And then breathe here. So stay here. Your hands can be here. They can be forward or to the shin or to the foot, whatever is going to work for you. Breathing here. You can drop right down if you like, if you're open. Otherwise, just stay where you were. Try to keep the hips even. Good. And then come on back up. 
Good, walk the hands back. Now with this leg, you're gonna lift up the knee and keep the foot across the leg. So dropping that foot down, keeping the knee up. So in this position, we're gonna come into a twist. So see if you can get the arm around the leg. You might try to get the armpit to the knee, take the other hand behind, lift up nice and tall. So that left foot is flexed until it's pointing up, and then you can come into a twist here. If you want, you can change the arm and take the elbow to the outside, still lifting up, turning on your exhale, looking over the right shoulder, Keep dropping the right foot down towards the floor, into the floor. Breathing here. Good. Keeping the sit bones down as well. Good. Lifting up on an inhale through the top of the head. Exhale. Turn into the twist a little bit deeper. Nice. Good. And then come back to the front. Nice, and just shake out the legs. And now you're gonna feel a little bit uneven, I think, between legs. So let's do the other side. So let's start with that left knee coming into your chest. So again, lifting up nice and tall, keeping the right leg active, and then lift up the foot just to open up the hip a little bit. Good, you're still staying nice and tall. And then take the foot just above the knee here. Good. Flexing both feet. Inhale, lift up. And then lean forward. So you might feel different on one side. So just adjust as you need to, okay? So keeping nice and long, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. You're inhaling and getting long and then exhaling and deepening into it. So you can stay up a little bit higher if that helps, or you can walk the hands forward onto the floor, shin, foot maybe, and if you want, you can drop your head right down to go a little deeper. Breathe into it. Send that breath nice and low into the lower back and the hips. Really opening up that whole area. Breathing. Good. Then let's walk the hands back up. Lift up the knee, drop the foot to the ground. Good. And then hug that other leg. So try to get the armpit close to the knee, as close as you can get it. Lift up nice and tall to the top of the head. And exhale, turn so you're looking over the left shoulder. And again, you can change the arm by taking the elbow to the outside. You're still lifting up nice and tall on that inhale. Exhale, turn like the spine is the axis. You're turning on the axis, looking over the left shoulder. Keep pressing down into the left foot, into the floor. So keep your breath going, really lengthening and deepening. Lengthening and deepening. Good. Nice. And come back to the front. Ah, let's shake the legs out. Awesome. And from here, legs straight, reach your arms out in front, and let's take the belly back. Good. Now just come halfway, just come halfway. Hold it here, good, and then come up again. Good, round your back, pull the belly. You're just coming halfway, halfway, hold, 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 hold. Good, and come on back up. Good, one more time, you're gonna pull the belly back. Good, legs are flexed, you're turning the legs in towards each other as you hold this position. Good, come on back up. This time you're gonna take your hands behind you, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the chest up and lift the gaze up for a little bit of a back bend. Breathing, good, nice. Good, so come on out of that, just relax the arms for a moment. 
You can come back to that position or we're gonna do something a little different and add to it. Bending the knees, lifting the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades, and then if you want, you can lift the hips all the way up too into crab pose. Letting the head drop back, taking the knees towards the toes, lifting those hips. Good, let's slowly come down. Straighten the legs again, reach again. This time, pulling the belly in and slowly, I was teasing you before, coming all the way down to the mat and then bring your knees into your chest. Good. Just rocking side to side here. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna come into fish pose. So let's have straight legs, hands beside your hips. You can also take them right under your glutes if you feel a little more support there. And from here, just like we did with the forearms earlier, you're gonna press into your elbows and the forearms, lift the chest, Take the top of the head to the mat. Good. And then either point or flex your feet, whatever feels good here. So squeeze the shoulder blades, lift that chest. Keep lifting, keep lifting, keep lifting. Pressing into the head a little bit and into the elbows. Breathing here, feeling a huge opening in the front. Now, if you want, you can stay here, or you might take your arms away and reach them up, bringing the palms together. Breathing here. Good. Keep your breath going. Nice. Take the arms back down, slowly come out of that, and bring the knees into the chest again. Just lifting the chest up towards the knees. Excellent. Good. So, taking your legs down, just take your right foot to your left knee, open up your arms, and drop the knee over to the left. Now, from here, keep the right arm off the ground as you reach away. You can take your left hand to your knee if you want to help drop it down a little bit more. Again, inhaling and exhaling here to open up. Just do it slowly, nice gentle breaths to really start opening up through the hip. So if you want and if you feel like you can really reach out as much as possible with that right hand, then take it down to the ground. Breathing. Feeling the opening along the side, across the hip. Nice. Good, let's come back up again. Straighten the right leg. Let's take the left foot to the right knee, and again, drop over to the right this time. So same thing, reaching that left arm behind you above the floor. So really reaching away using your right hand on your left knee to help drop it down. Try to drop the hip down as well. Breathe as you reach. Breathe. Nice. I want you to feel like you've gotten as long as you can with that left arm. Take it down to the ground. Drop the shoulder a little bit as you continue to open up the hip and the side. Breathing. Mm, breathing here. Good. Inhale, come on back up. One more hug of the knees. Just rocking side to side a little bit here. Ah, maybe really squeezing and lifting up the head. Let's do the opposite. Reaching the arms over the head, pressing the feet away. And exhale, <sighs> drop down into Shavasana. <clears throat> so again, allowing yourself to drop down, relax, soften, keep your breath going. 
Just let everything go as you breathe. Taking a few moments here for yourself to just let go. Stay here a little longer to take rest. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste.